let's see how we can use alarm manager and broadcast receivers to set an alarm after a particular number of seconds so let's say i want to give an alarm or i want to have an alarm after three seconds i will type three here and then start the counter alarm is set in three seconds and as soon as the toast goes you can see that the after three seconds there's an alarm which has come up right so now let's go to android studio and see how to make this happen so first things first let's have a look at the manifest of this app the manifest has a permission here which is for vibrate we will be using the vibrate services of android and that's why i have put vibrate permission here and then uh, there is this one activity which is doing all the role and then there is one receiver that we have used here the name of the receiver is alarm broadcast receiver right now let's go to our main activity and see uh, how we have made this happen but before that i will also show you the layout that we have used it's a very simple layout a linear layout with orientation as vertical and then there are there is an edit text which was used to get input from the user and another button which the user is supposed to click so that they can set the alarm right now let us look at the main activity we create an instance sorry a reference of edit text here and then create an object of edit text after that uh, there was this button which was clicked by the user to set the alarm and the button is being handled by this method that is start alert what we are doing is we have an integer uh, i which is capturing the number of seconds that after which the alarm should go out so we are using integer class the wrapper classes method parse in to convert the x dot get x to string into a, an integer so what we are doing is we are uh, first finding the string that the user has given right uh, in the edit text and then we are converting it into an integer using parse int. after that we are creating an intent here intent object which will take the user or take the context uh, the current context and this is the uh, receiver that uh, will get activated whenever the alarm goes off right we have also used pending intent here so pending intent is nothing like uh, nothing but an, an intent which is going to happen after some activity so how you handle a pending intent is like this you uh, use the get broadcast method for this and then give it the current context this dot get application context we give it a request code any request code you can give and then you feed it one of the intents which should happen when the pending intent is activated and then we are using a flag you can put as zero and then we are using alarm manager here alarm manager is being used to get the alarm services uh, because we will need this uh, so that the alarm can go out finally here in this uh, we are calling a method called set which is going to set the alarm we use rtc wake up and finally uh, this is the system dot current time millis so whenever the alarm is set the current time plus i into thousand now i is basically the integer which we fetched from the user we are converting that integer into we are multiplying it with thousand because we want to deal in milliseconds here so what we are going to do is the current time plus number of in number of seconds that the user has given in 2000 because we have to deal with milliseconds and finally we give a pending intent to this so as you can see this the moment i click on this this pending intent gets highlighted so this is the same object that we are feeding to this alarm manager and finally there is a toast here so toast if you remember it was there was a toast which got uh, which appeared when we when the user clicked on the uh, the start alert button right now uh, let's have a look at the broadcast receiver the broadcast receiver is simply extending broadcast receiver the on receive method is there so whenever the this broadcast will be received on receive method will be activated it will be called there will be a toast message which will say time to get up and then we are using the vibrator service here so you can use the vibrator service like this and finally there is a, a duration of 1000 milliseconds given to this vibrator service also so we want the vibration to happen for thousands milliseconds that is basically one second right 
now so this is how you can you can use the vibrator service with alarm manager to set the alarm uh, important things which uh, we need to rediscuss here and dis you know like revisit here are these uh, you have to put a receiver tag in your manifest this is really important if you don't do this the app will not work in fact you will not even get an error why the app is not working right the app will not even crash it's just that app will not work the way you want it to work so you have to remember that you have to put the receiver tag another thing uh, you also have to give a permission here now this is not a mandatory permission as in uh, if when you give this permission the user will not be uh, you know asked to give the permission again when they launch or when when they when they start using the app right for example if there was a permission for uh, using the contacts or uh, using the location of the user the user is explicitly asked for the permission right but it does not happen in this case but still you have to write this permission here right so uh, you have to give write the permission here and then that's it uh, there's nothing else to discuss here it's a very simple app you just need to understand the concept which is intent and then pending intent the pending intent takes intent object as one of its input arguments and whenever you know this pending intent will be fired this intent will get actually get fired right so what is really happening here is the alarm manager is making sure that this pending intent gets activated after i in 2000 milliseconds and pending intent in turn has got intent inside it which takes you to takes the context to alarm broadcast receiver class which is here and on receive method gets activated and you see a toast message and the mobile also vibrates for one second that's it uh, th that's it for this app uh, let me know if you have any doubts and in your comments you can put uh, in case you have any expectations from the tutorials uh, please subscribe to the channel have a good day take care